Hello, Nadine here with Scrap and Art Magazine. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a couple designs using some kits from Quilled Creations. The first design I'm going to make is a fan shell. It's in the Quilling Made Easy kit. All the directions are in there. What I did was take four 8-inch lengths of paper and glued the ends of them all together. Just like that. Once all the papers are glued together, you make a loop and then gently pull each color strip through to make a multicolored wheat ear. Glue the ends at the bottom of the loop to hold the loops together. And you're going to want to repeat this so you have two large, two medium, and two small wheat ears. making it so you have a total of six when you're done. Once your loops are completed, you're going to want to kind of flatten out the tops of them and pinch the corners so you have a triangle look out of them. You're going to repeat that on all of the loops, on all six. Now you're going to want to attach them all together, glue them with right at the base, starting with the small one, going on to the medium, working your way back over to the small one again, creating a fan. To use the slotted tool, you're going to measure your paper to a specific length, place the paper's end into the slot of the tip of the tool, rotate the tool in either direction to roll the paper slip strip around the tool. Remove the coil once you're done by pushing off the rolled paper into your circle ruler and just carefully take it out and glue the end so it's attached. Repeat the process on another piece of paper and then once you are done I am going to pinch these two little pieces into little triangles to glue onto the base of my fan shell. For my next design, I'm going to make a dragonfly from the bug collection kit. And the first thing I'm going to do is make two larger circles and then two medium sized circles. I'm going to pinch the ends of them to make them into a teardrop shape and those will be the wings for the dragonfly. And then I'm going to do six small circles and that will be the body. Then I'll glue all the body pieces together and then attach the wings. And then you'll see at the end how I put them all onto a picture frame. 